Why would you want to speak to the devil, mate? Don't bloody do it. Oh. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? Welcome back to another Casper Sight freaky deaky video. Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called Slapped Ham. Slapped Ham, mate. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. And this video is called, These Freaky Clips Will Mess With Your Head. I hope so, because I want to get freaked right out today, mate. I want to go to another level of freaky deakiness. By the way, mate, tonight I am streaming on Twitch. Okay, I mentioned it yesterday on my live stream. I've set myself a goal. I want, like, um, 300 average viewers within two months, okay? It'd be, it'd be amazing if we could do that. Um, so thank you, everybody, for going over to Twitch at the moment, you bloody legends. So basically, uh, tonight I'm, I'm streaming at 8 o'clock p.m., and um, I, I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. It's just like, it's a hangout area, right? It's free to join. You just literally log in and search for me. It's called Casper Site. And um, I'm, I'm rinsing on Elden Ring at the moment. So if you want to see me rinse and have a laugh and do the thing, then come over, all right? And I'm going to be like playing with other, well, going to be playing with you guys as well. So if you've got like certain games that I play, um, whether it's, I don't know, Golf with Friends or Warzone or whatever like that. Um, yeah, come on over, mate. All right. Anyway, without further ado, die dilly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, Slap Tab. What is... There. I don't know, I'm not looking. Oh, that sounded freaky deep. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is not Slap Cam. Today we're looking at some freaky video clips that no one can quite explain. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more eerie content. Just like this. Just like this. Let's go! There are many mysteries in our universe that science has yet to explain. One question that many people are still waiting to find an answer to is the question of whether we're alone in the universe. No, we're not, mate. We're not alone. What a great tune. We're not alone. Okay, we're not alone. This video from amateur UFO hunter Arslan Warwick could help provide an answer to that question. Warrett shot this footage in Islamabad, Pakistan. He began filming when he Sabaran, noticed something pigeon. unusual high up in the sky above the city. In the same spot. Mate, that's deadly still, isn't it? That is deadly still, mate. Same. Wow. Oh. Mate, that's huge as well. That's what she said. <laughs> He states that That's the reason the strange object in the sky caught his attention is because it was so still. Most of the time when we see things in the sky, such as birds, planes or balloons, they're moving about. Yeah. This object remained in the exact same spot for the entire two hours that he watched it. He watched it for two it's hours? Moving. It's, it's just my camera that's moving my hand. The object appears to be round and entirely dark grey or black in colour. As still as I can possibly be. However, oh mate, oh man, just imagine if he had like a telescope. Hey, just imagine, or one of those supersonic, like, like my phone apparently can just zoom in like maximum, mate. See a little alien in the window go like that. Zoom in with his camera, he saw that it was roughly the shape of a triangle with a clear bulge on the top of it. That's what she said. <laughs> he also states that the object reflected little light and didn't appear to have any lights on it as we might expect from a plane or drone. At times, you even see... A drone wouldn't stay up in the air for two hours, mate. ...several birds pass by, which clearly shows that this object isn't avian in nature. Birds, where are the birds? They are the birds. They're the birds. All right. So that, there, there you go. There it is. It's not there moving it's at not all. Moving. It's, it's just my camera that's moving, my hand that is moving. So what is this mysterious object spotted in the skies above Pakistan? Could it be some sort of strange hovering aircraft, the likes of which we've never seen before? If so, is that aircraft extraterrestrial in origin? Take another look at the footage and let us know what you think in the comments That's down below. That's crazy! 
definitely not alone, mate. It's not a blimp either. It's too high for a blimp. Have you ever been going about your day and felt like someone or something was watching you? After this video from Instagram a Paranoid Normal, you might find yourself looking over your shoulder a little more than normal. In this clip, we see a man in a dim room. Keep your eyes on the curtains in the background, the streaks of light coming- I can already see! I can already see the silhouette, mate! ...through the curtains are about to go from abstract shapes to pure nightmare fuel. Oh, fuck me. Lot. Here we go, here we go. What the F? He's curious. That's it, mate. You're curious. Go and Rambo it. Rambo it. As the man oh, goes shit. about his business, the light coming through the curtains begins to take on the shape of a person's silhouette, almost as if someone's standing on the other side of the window. Look! It's fucking moving, mate! However, if that were the case, it would be the shadows, not the light, that form the silhouette. It looks like he's putting his hand up there. He's putting his hand up there. At one point, it's as though a hand runs down the curtain. That's what I'm talking about, mate. What the hell? Hey, there's Could not this a be cut a case either. Of paradox there's not a cut. I don't know. Earlier, the human tendency to see faces and other signs of life no. where none exists. No, I don't think this so. This might be the case, but how do you explain that hand exactly. running down the curtain? Exactly. I don't know, mate. I don't know, slapped. The man quickly rips the curtains open. That's definitely, that's definitely a silhouette. You can even see his fingers there, his thumb, his fingers. And showing that there's nothing on the other side. What? So could this then be some sort of spirit haunting the home? Some viewers have been quick to dismiss this video as a hoax, questioning why the man was filming in the first place. However, others have questioned how such a- He might be recording, look, it looks, he's got the table out there, look. He's got a couple of plates. He's got a rose. Could be a nice romantic evening. Ending in a nice romantic video, if you know what I mean, eh? <laughs> Maybe a home video, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the thing would even be possible to fake in the first place. Especially because the end of the video shows that there's nothing waiting on the other side of the curtain. Nothing. That's freaky deaky. That's freaky deaky, mate. Definitely. When a family member passes away, many of us will always wonder if a part of them will remain with us even after their death. That's certainly what viewer Brandon Juliet, who goes by the Reddit username Small Connection, was thinking when he was watching these surprising videos captured on their home security cameras. According to Brandon, this first video was recorded late one night on the Ring home security camera placed outside of his mother's house. Everything on the front porch looks fairly normal for the first few seconds of the footage. Uh huh. However, we quickly it's good qual good quality video, mate. Spot something odd, an orb floating across the screen. Oh. Hang on a second, mate. Look at this. What the f? What the hell? The orb is yellow in colour and moves slowly across the camera for several seconds. Brandon's- it, sh it, it, it changes shape though, it goes more oval when it goes closer to the edge. I'm just wondering whether- Oh, is that because of the, um, the, the lens? ...states that they've never seen anything like this on the camera before. The timing of this recording is particularly odd. The footage was recorded shortly after his stepfather passed away. Some paranormal experts believe that spirits can manifest as orbs of light, as it takes less energy for them to appear in this way. 
I don't know what to make of that. I don't know. It's weird. To make matters even stranger, a second video was recorded on Brandon's own ring camera, showing an identical yellow orb hovering in front of the camera. What? But here's the twist. He lives over 230 miles away from his mother. Yet what? the same strange orb appeared on both cameras shortly no. after the stepfather's death. No. That is weird, mate. That is really weird. And look, there's a face here, look. Chin, lips, nose. That is weird. Here's some more footage of the same yellow orb. What? Mate, this orb's going like maximum miles, mate. It's on his bloody run. According to Brandon, it seems to appear at around 3 a.m. That's convenient, isn't it? 3 a.m. Hmm, we know what happens at 3 a.m., do we? Wow. That's three separate houses, all connected. Often, people are scared when they see indications that a spirit may be hanging around their house. However, in this case, Brandon and his mother are comforted by the appearance of the yellow orb. They believe it means a loved one is looking out for them from beyond the grave. It's strange that it's yellow though, isn't it? Is it because like, I don't know, the lighting in here is quite yellow? Uh, strange. Strange but true. Look at you. Phobia, the fear of clowns. Empty it's more common clown. than you might think. After watching this video from YouTuber World Paranormal, you might begin to develop this phobia yourself. The video shows an eerie night vision view of a display of dolls and other vintage toys. The fact that someone set up a camera to record the toys suggests that their owner may have spotted something strange happening there in the past. It doesn't take long for us to see why they're suspicious of the antique playthings. The first indication that something's amiss comes when a small orb of light floats past the camera. Yeah, see it mate, see it, two of them, yeah, yeah. What? Could it just be a speck of dust floating past the camera? Maybe, but then something else unusual happens that's harder to explain. Take a what, the groan, the noise? Look. What? The clown's hand seems to move slowly downward. What? I can barely see that shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's weird. What is that? A little while later, the camera begins to move or shake, although there's no one in the room to touch it. A what? Peculiar. Seconds later, the clown's hand moves back to its original position. That little was somebody following on Twitch, by the way. So what's going on in this creepy video? I don't know, According mate. According to some viewers, if you listen closely while watching, you can also hear some odd sounds happening in the background that don't seem to have an explanation. Closely? You don't have to listen closely, mate. It's, it's going on. What the F is that? <laughs> Is 
So is there a playful poltergeist in this house? Or is the doll haunted? Either way, the toy's owner should certainly be wary of this strange clown. Look at it moving. That's weird, mate. That's really weird. That, that's more fucking freaky. That's more freaky deaky, man. I'm telling you. So damn weird. Just a quick update, we've launched a brand new Facebook group. This is the perfect place to share scary content you've seen around the internet as well as photos and videos you've captured yourself. YouTuber Bright Eyes Taro seems to have caught some bright eyes burning like fire. Bright eyes. Brilliant song. Something strange on their home security system. Backyard it was recorded sighting. at night time, so we see the yard in night vision mode. All okay. is still for a few seconds. Check this out. Just hold up. You'll see. But then a strange splotch of light moves onto screen. That. Um, there's no bugs because it's frozen outside, literally frozen. And it has been consistently iced over. Well, Wait, that's over massive! Real cold. Real cold. What? And that car is massive compared to the house as well. Is that? It isn't perfectly round, but rather jagged around the edges. What is that? I ain't got a clue, mate. Um. According to the YouTuber, it was far too cold out for the strange sighting to be any sort of insect. So what else could it be? It could be Chalky. Can you remember Chalky? Come on, if you're from the UK, right? And you're around my age, you gotta remember a, uh, a television program called Chocky. It was this like green splodge whirly thing, and these two, this brother and sister used to communicate to it, like with it. it, it fucking weird, man. Fucking weird. Chocky. It's no Chocky. Because it's frozen outside, literally frozen, and it has been consistently iced over. Well, iced over, but cold. Real cold. What? Is that? Maybe it comes on this side. Perhaps it's just the light from a passing car or other mundane source. This could be the case. That is until the light does something quite peculiar. Oh yeah? The light moves slowly across the camera and approaches the steps leading to the porch. And morphs into a We're human? It's over but cold. Real cold. What? Is that? Maybe it comes on this side of the dollhouse. And then wait. And there it is still. <clears throat> Does it go up the steps? Yep, it's going up the steps. Then it seems to move up the steps as if attempting to go into the porch and perhaps into the house as well. Is there someone standing on the porch? Oh, mate. Done? Bright Eyes Tarot is a clairvoyant and regularly uploads card readings to their channel. Oh. Is it possible then that this OP is more sensitive to the paranormal and has somehow manifested this strange orb? Watch the footage carefully again and let us know what you think. Um, there's no bugs because it's frozen outside, literally frozen, and it has been consistently iced over. I don't know, man. Well, iced over, but that cold. is real cold. Like, I can't explain some of these videos today, man. I'm telling you. What is that? What is that? Freaky dicky. YouTuber Mortis the Wizard is no stranger to the paranormal. His YouTube uh, clearly, mate, he clearly channel is full of strange videos that seem to depict things from beyond our world. And this may be his most terrifying footage to date. In this video, he uses Look at you! Look at the state of you! Huh? What the F, mate? Eh? Hey? Can you dress up like a pigeon? As a spirit box to attempt to make <clears throat> contact with spirits who may be having difficulty passing over. If you know of me, then you would know I have a familiar spirit called Ian. Fuck off! Ian has never made me feel uncomfortable. He has always been kind. He asks that any spirits who need help call out to- Mate, I'm telling you, it may- Maybe get some fresh air or something, mate. Right? Start a sport. Join a club of some sort, mate. Women ask for assistance. 
Shockingly, a multitude of voices seem to come through the spirit box begging for help. Hello spirits, this is Shannon here. Go. Okay. If you need help, say help me. I'm sorry, mate, but all of those words that you put up on there, I didn't hear any of that. You could have put up on that on that screen. I'm a scat man. And I I really it, it could have been anything. Keep calling for help if you need help. No, that was just hini hini hini. That does not help me. Hini hini. It's not help me. Help us pass. I did hear that. I did hear that. Help us something or other. Need help? Heard that. Let me see if I can close my eyes, hear it, and then see. Because sometimes it's like when you read it, you can then hear it, you know? I mean, maybe if it's just came up with like the word orange, I'd be able to hear orange. So I'm going to close my eyes. Next word I hear, I'm going to try and decipher what it is. According to the YouTuber, these spirits might be struggling because a demon <laughs> is attached to them. It's a good idea. <laughs> preventing them from reaching God. You, yeah, I heard that. You could, be. you could be. You could get God to help us. I. To be fair, yeah. You. It was like you could get God to help us. I heard help. Unfortunately, the YouTuber's experiences with the spirit box get even more. Dis Look at that stick. Ah! <laughs> I'm a stick. With really long legs. Disturbing. He reaches out to a spirit named Ian, one who he claims to have established a friendship with. Can I speak to Ian, please? Ian, come through, please. It's Ian. Imagine that. That was scared as shit. It's Ian. It's Ian with God. Like, I just... God is just so like, I asked him and he said he, he's got plenty of time. I'm here with God, right here now. Here he is. Say hello, God. Hello. You said it's Ian. Or more precisely, it's Ian. Fuck off with that shit, mate. Fuck off with that shit. Wow, hear that? He yeah, asks I... Ian to put him in contact with the devil. Oh god, no, no, I've just got shivers. I really want to say they're multiplying. Ian, I'm wanting to speak to the devil. Why are you fucking doing this, mate? Why are you even- Why? Why? Why would you want to do that? Okay? Let's- Let's just assume that it is real. 0.0001% chance that you're going to. Why the fuck would you do that? Huh? Why would you want to speak to the devil, mate? Don't bloody do it. Oh, fuck me. You've done it now, mate. He's like, who wants to speak to me? Who wants to speak to me? I'm, f I'm busy. I'm busy at the m Right. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. T just tell him I'll be two two minutes. And asks if he's sure that's what he wants. I want. Oh fucking hell! What the hell is? Hang on, man. I think I might have to prepare myself for this shit. I think I might have to prepare myself for this shit, mate. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> 
Not long after, the words devil and Satan can be heard through the spirit box. When the devil has come through, say the devil. Satan! There it is. Said it a couple of times. The devil was definitely here. He asks the devil what he wants from him, as Satan has... Oh, fucking hell, mate. I'm really freaking out here, nude. Dude, uh, nude. Nude. You could be nude right now watching this, but I don't give a shit, mate. All right? I meant to say dude. I'm freaking out. Has apparently called out to him before. Disturbingly, the voice from the spirit box issues a chilling threat. I want to kill you. It's going to happen. Oh, it God. Like, oh, God. You'll see. Take a listen. Devil, you keep calling out for me. What do you want? Kill. You. Real kill. Oh my fucking god, mate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fucking, I'm freaking. I'm freaking, mate. I'm freaking. I'm freaking. I'm freaking. He's like, yeah, I want to kill you for the thrill. For the bloody thrill. I'm freezing. I've got a hoodie on and a t shirt, right? I'm cold. What's that all about? My legs are fucking freezing. Chicken all over it, mate. Chicken legs, maximum. What? What is going on? Look at you. Look at you trying to contact the... I don't even want to say it. Bloody hell, man. Let's go. Let's continue, eh? Kill you. Well, you're very kind. Mate, I... Just... I would just stop the shit right now. Like, as soon as I heard that, I'd be like, yeah, I better... I better just... I've got... I've got a dinner. I've got to get dinner on. See you later. I'm very honoured. Thank you. I can't wait. Are you fucking joking? It's going to happen. Let's hear it. Well, you're very kind. I'm very honoured. Thank you. I can't wait. So are these truly voices? What the? This is coming from the beyond through the spirit box. Is the devil himself really threatening this YouTuber's life? Take another listen and decide for yourself. Devil, you keep calling out for me. What do you want? Kill. Kill you. Well, you're very kind. I'm very honoured. Thank you, I can't wait. <sighs> what is go what is right, first of all, what is going on with the with the guy try like what's going on with you, mate? What's going on with you? What happened? I feel sorry for him. What happened to you that makes you want to contact the devil and also say thanks? I'm privileged? Like, what the fuck? Let's just say it is real. Like I say, a 0.000001% chance that it could be real, right? Don't mess with that shit, man. That's messed me up. Yeah, nothing. I'm puts like it him. I'm like, I'm like him now. Oh fucking hell! Dampener on your day like a porno and sleep. I thought he said porno. I thought he said porno. Nothing put dampens your day like a porno. What? You're watching the wrong shit, mate. Nothing puts a dampener on your day like a porno and sleep. <laughs> I'm. <sh> <laughs> After getting several nights of bad sleep in a row, Redditor Kit Oh, I've Kat seen this one. He clearly's been watching a bloody porno. Look at the state of this. Six decided to get a watch him make a tent camera to see if they could find out what was going on. The answer ended up being much more disturbing than they had anticipated. According to the Redditor, they were having trouble sleeping at night because something would regularly wake them up. I know exactly what's waking this person up, mate. 
They report feeling like something was shaking the bed. Shaking but the bed? upon waking, they were never able to locate a cause for the strange feeling. I don't know, mate. Deciding enough was enough, they brought a camera and placed it at the foot of the bed, hoping to capture video footage that could answer their questions. <laughs> yeah, I know why the camera's in the bedroom. The footage is unsettling. Nah. Right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, okay. Let's just, let's just, let's not beat, let's not beat around the bush. Okay? That's exactly why you've got the camera in there, right? And that's exactly why you can't sleep, right? Thing Don't be joking. More questions Don't be joking, anybody. Answers. Hey, it's got a mind of its own. That's so damn weird. As the Redditor lies sleeping, there appears to be a disturbance with the blankets. Joking aside, what the hell is that? Was it a fart? It looks as if something has lifted <laughs> a portion of the blanket into the air. It remains in the air for a few seconds, then drops back down. It's such poor quality, isn't it? It's such a shame. The sleeper never stirs. The video becomes oddly pixelated during the movement. Much poorer quality than the rest of the video, which makes it hard to see exactly what's going on. What's going on? The abrupt change in video quality makes the footage even eerier. Yeah. Hmm. So what's going on in this strange clip? Some viewers have reported spotting something that looks like a face hovering over the sleeper's back just what? after the blankets settle. Oh! They've suggested the presence of a ghost or even a demon. I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Let your theories yeah. rip with one another in the comment section down below. I don't know. What is that, by the way? What is that? <sighs> F knows, mate. F knows. Before we take a look at a terrifying encounter in an abandoned house. Oh, fuck it out. You see that? Hit subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there. Wee, wee, and turn on all channel notifications. <laughs> that way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Ehab Kasmia is a popular urban explorer on YouTube and Snapchat who okay. often investigates eerie abandoned buildings. And oh, look. fucking hell, yeah, I, saw, I remember you. I remember you, mate. Look at you with your black-eyed bastard, eh? More often than not, he encounters some very strange things. The building that he explores in this video appears to have been a residence at some point. Smlah. Bismillah. 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 It's old and largely empty, but a few decrepit furnishings remain. Oh God. For the first few minutes of his exploration, everything appears to be fairly normal. Not, not, not. He seems to be entirely alone in the building. You're not alone. However, a hey. few minutes into poking Come around on. the empty rooms, a noise suddenly startles him. Do it again! Come out! Oh! 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم He spins around just in time to see a head disappearing behind a door. He gives chase, but the shadowy figure is gone. He's just fucking gone! There are further indications that he's not alone in this creepy old house. As he's examining a bathroom mirror, he's startled when something's caught Cockroach. on camera. Bloody cockroach, mate. Massive one. Oh, oh fucking hell, mate! Oh, yumma. Yumma, bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A hand seems to reach through the doorway. Oh! Not long after, the shadowy head makes another appearance. The explorer this time doesn't seem to notice it. Yeah, 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 you missed it, mate. You missed it. Yeah. Then things escalate to off the charts creepy when oh, he decides to look into the mirror once again. Escalate? Escalate? Again. Take a look. Oh my fucking girl, look at look at you! Hey, oh, Allah, you Allah, Allah. oh fucking hell, mate! I oh what? How did they do that, mate? How did they do that? They turn around. There's fuck all people there, man. Watching that again, slowed down, an eerie face can be seen looking back at him. Oh shit, a brick, mate! Look at the state of this. Hey, look at you! From the mirror. But when he swings around, there's nothing there. Like, like, but there's no cut or anything, is there? I don't know, man. Is there a cut? Is there not a cut? But the audio isn't cut, I don't know. So who or what was watching this YouTuber as he explored the old house? Was someone following him around as he documented the building? Is the place truly haunted by some sort of spirit? By the way, hand, one mate. thing is certain, he wasn't alone in that house. This footage put Ehab on the paranormal map as he's since garnered a healthy following on both YouTube and Snapchat, as viewers tune in every week to follow along on his explorations. Okay. His channel is well worth a look. As always, there's links in the description box below. Excellent. the merch at caspersite.com just rambo it there you go mate that bloody video just escalated maximum it was bloody brilliant anyway if you liked it how about leaving a little like mate and remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos anyway i'll see you on the next one mate take care bye bye